Have you ever wondered how to create those awesome speed ramp effects and fascinating boomerangs inside After Effects? What if I told you if you watch this video to the end, you become a pro speed ramper? Speed ramper? You become a master at speed ramping. I'm gonna give you guys all the secret sauces that I use in my edits to create videos like this. First thing you want to do inside After Effects is obviously put your audio track inside your timeline. We're going to be using I Shine by the Lil Pump Remix. And obviously we're just going to put our first clip into our timeline. Next, click on your layer and click Control Alt T to open up the time remapping. For me, I have the keyboard shortcut to D. If you guys want to change the keyboard shortcut, go up to Edit, Keyboard Shortcuts. And then right here, type in Time Remapping. And then right here, you'll see Enable Time Remapping. All you have to do is click right here and click whatever keyboard shortcut you want and then click OK. I'm gonna be showing you guys two different ways that you can be keyframing inside After Effects. The first one is to go over to the end of where we want the clip and click right here to add a keyframe. If you hover over right here, this timing map and you click and drag to the right, the clip will start going more forward. And obviously if you go left, it'll go backwards. I always like my edits to have really fast movement. So right here, we're just gonna go to the right quite a bit until we go pretty close to the car and now if we play that back there's a lot of movement in this first little clip and that's what we want once we've gone this far we're going to split and delete that axis of the video so we just have this clean layer right here next we're going to highlight click right click and go to keyframe assistance and click easy ease for me i have it to set to w once you easy easy keyframes and they're both highlighted we're gonna go over to the graph right here and we're gonna scoot this thing in so we can zoom in a little more so you can see now all you have to do is grab this left one and bring it up to something like this and overall you just want to kind of replicate what type of graph i'm making right here the basic premise of this graph is the more vertical the line is the higher the speed is and the more horizontal or straight the line is that's where the slow-mo is or where the clip goes slow so obviously right here it goes fast slow and then fast and this is a very basic graph in this tutorial i'm gonna be showing you guys a couple different ways you guys can do this graph so stick around and keep watching we can get out of the graph and one little tip that i do is i grab this last keyframe and bring it over one frame to the left if you keep the keyframe at the very very end it doesn't really grab the whole entire time remapping of the graph and now if we play it back we get this spicy speed ramping obviously i recommend using 60 fps clips but if you're using like 30 fps clips and you're kind of like time remapping them and they're kind of like jittery and skipping frames all you have to do is go over to this little right here and click it twice to enable frame blending it makes your video a little bit more buttery buttery as in like it's 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 smooth like butter's smooth so next on the second clip i'm gonna show you guys a couple different ways you guys can do the speed graph to get some very unique type of speed ramping obviously we're gonna do the same thing enable time remapping and we're gonna be putting a keyframe right here go to the end of the video and we're just gonna drag this into we where we want it so a couple little tips that I do is because this is right on the beat, we want the starting of it to be really, really impactful or really, really fast coming in. So what we're going to do on this one is we're going to bring this one way, way, way up. And then we're going to grab this second one. And instead of going all the way down like this, we're going to go to the left a little bit more and then up. And even for this one, we can bring this up a slightly more. So what this is doing is it comes in really, really, really fast, kind of goes pretty slow and then kind of has a small speed ramp out. And if we play it back, this is what we got. And after playing it back, it doesn't really have a very distinctful slow-mo and then speed ramp out in this case. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna grab this one, bring it down a little bit more and bring it to the right. Grab this right one, bring it up to the right a little bit more like this. Nice. Also, another quick tip is if you're already in this graph and you play it back and let's just say you did not keyframe the speed enough, like there isn't enough movement that you want, you'll see that the video is getting longer, which means there's going to be a lot more motion inside your video. And if you bring it up to this point, and as you can see, the graph kind of slightly starts to manipulate to the how much speed there was. Obviously, the same thing is if you want the clip to be shorter, if you grab it and drag it down on that same keyframe. It'll kind of go slower. Graph is all wonky now, so you just would have to adjust the clip to your liking again. The next technique I'm gonna show you guys is to do these really cool boomerang effects inside After Effects. So we're gonna be having the boomerang effect go from three to marker four. So how we do the boomerang effect is first obviously enable time remapping. 
The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be dragging the timer map to the end of where we want the boomerang to pretty much end. And let's just say we get really close to the tire like this. The next thing we're gonna do is very, very simple. All we have to do is go to the end of our clip and highlight the first keyframe we have right here. Control C to copy and Control V to paste. Next, we're just gonna be splitting and deleting the rest of the layer. And if we play this back, you'll see that we have a very basic boomerang effect. Obviously, we're gonna be adding that sauce to it. So obviously to add the sauce, we're just gonna be highlighting these keyframes and easy easing them. Next, we're gonna be going into the graph and your graph should look something like this. Next, all we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be grabbing these bottom one right here, hold shift and drag this to all the way to the left. And on this top one, we're gonna do the same thing, click and hold shift and drag it to the left. We're gonna grab this one, drag it all the way to the right and grab this one, drag it all the way to the right. Next, because obviously with the end, we want the end to be right here. And because this is a little bit offset, we're just gonna grab this middle one and move it one frame over. And that looks beautiful. Next, we're gonna be playing it back and this is what we got. Oh my gosh, it's so buttery. Yes, sir. And that's how we do the boomerang effect. And on top of that, there's even more sauce we can add to this. So obviously, we can see this is a panning in or zoom in. And then obviously with our boomerang effect, it obviously is seamless and is a zoom in also, but then it boomerangs out. Technique or a little tip I would give you guys is because this is an out right here, like a zoom out, I'm gonna be finding a clip that is panning out. And as you can see with this clip, this is a panning out clip. So this is beautiful. We're just gonna grab that, bring it into our timeline. And a little tip is the more you guys do this, the more you guys can just kind of freehand judge. Like right now, I'm just kind of dragging to the right to where I think it will look good. But of course, after you easy ease them and go into the graph, you guys can do the thing where I taught you guys, where you guys can drag this up and down to find the exact speed that you want. And a simple graph like this is very simple. Obviously, if you want it to be really, really impactful, I would bring this up like that. Grab this one, bring it all the way down like this. So where it's pretty much flat right here. So super slow-mo. So Picasso. Also, I'm gonna show you guys another variation of the boomerang effect that I actually did on accident before and I realized what it did. I was like, holy crap, this is kind of cool. We're gonna drag this graph way, way up so we can actually see what is going on. All we're gonna do is grab this first one and drag it way up like this. Grab this second one and bring it all the way down. And if your graph looks something like this, where there is a downward slope right here, this all it means is it's starting to go in reverse. But what it's doing is it speed ramps in and then it starts going in reverse and then it speed ramps back out. Kind of line like this. It's so big. And those are all my secret sauces when it comes to speed ramping inside After Effects. And if you guys want my sauces on about transitions and effects on these type of edits, make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe down below and I'll be making more tutorials in the future and I'll see you guys later.